So last presentation of the day. Um, nothing wrong with being last. You know what they call the guy who finishes last in med school? Doctor. <laughs> All right, so my name is David Friedman. I'm both the CEO of Vivigro as well as the founding partner of Panther Capital. Uh, unlike most of the companies here, we are neither going public or raising capital, so why are we here? Well, a couple reasons. One is um, lawyer stuff. Panther Opportunity Fund, which is a fund that I co-founded, uh, closed out our round this month and has a small allocation available in Vivigro for those who are interested in investing. However, really we're here more just to tell our story about what it's like to be part of the ecosystem in the cannabis industry. Um, just a little bit on Panther, uh, five and a half million dollars in assets raised. It's our second fund. Uh, we've made about 20 investments solely in the cannabis space over the last five years. Um, I have run two other companies in the cannabis space, uh, one of which is about to IPO in February after raising the equity in that company. Uh, I came over Started the second fund with my partners and, um, and then ended up joining Vividgro as one of our portfolio companies. Uh, Camp Panther looks for companies with operating history, experienced management team, unique selling proposition, uh, cannabis companies, high growth companies, and we're looking for early stage exits in three to five years. Uh, we expect the fund to go uh, no longer than seven years. Um, typical two and 20. Uh, 100% return of investment before uh, the management team takes their 20% carried interest uh, and the fund is still accepting investors through probably the first quarter of 2019. So we're here really to talk about Vivigro. As I said, Panther closed out Vivigro Series A round this month. Uh, Vivigro is a consolidation play in the ag tech industry. Uh, we were spun off of Lighting Science Group, which is the uh, largest consumer of LEDs in the world by volume, fifth largest by price. Uh, I was brought in to spin off the horticultural division of the company, uh, but as I said uh, to the people that hired me, I really wasn't interested in being the CEO of a lighting company. Uh, I really wanted to move the company in a different direction and become more of an ag tech play. My background's in early stage technology, and so we've become a company to consolidate platforms uh, that offer hardware and software solutions to automate indoor horticulture. We are crop agnostic. Probably 50% of our business comes from non-cannabis uh, facilities right now. Uh, we do expect to see a lion's share of our growth in cannabis. However, um, there is a considerable amount of opportunity in vertical farming. The World Health Organization reports that by the year 2050, there will be 11 billion people in the world. Uh, right now we have 9 billion. We're gonna need about 70% more in resources than we have today. And um, we are gonna have about 30% less than we need. So those two uh, nascent industries, cannabis and ag tech, uh, kind of converge in a way that make uh, an ideal opportunity for consolidation play on the ancillary side of the business. Uh, Pegasus is a $2 billion private equity firm in New York. Uh, they are our primary investor, and uh, as far as I know, one of the few, if not the only, real institutional non-cannabis companies to back a cannabis company. Um, I believe there are a couple others that might be a little bit more silent. Uh, we were spun off in conjunction with Merida. Uh, you heard a couple other people in this room talk about Merida. They've invested in a lot of companies in the industry and have been in and around uh, the conference the last couple of days. And then of course, as I mentioned, Panther Fund. Uh, Lighting Science Group is still uh, a significant shareholder in the company and uh, we have access to and the ability to leverage the engineering and uh, other resources at Lighting Science Group to be able to bring more products to the marketplace. Um, information that I don't really need to tell the people in this room, uh, we look at the industry in, in four quadrants. There's cannabis, vertical farming, horticultural lighting, and software, farm management software. Those are the four areas that we play in. Uh, we believe that there is a lot of opportunity for consolidation in the cannabis industry, in the ag tech industry. Um, there are a lot of small players with interesting technologies that as a standalone technology are going to have difficulty scaling, raising capital and deploying and gaining market share. Uh, using our M&A strategy and our capital resources through Pegasus and Merida, 
we intend to be aggressive on the M&A side as well as growing organically with the skills that we've got in-house. Um, about half of my staff are people that I've worked with in previous companies um, that have had successful exits. So that gives us a real competitive advantage of being able to move quickly in an industry that's moving quickly as well. At the core of our uh, product offering uh, was a lighting solution. Uh, we completely disassembled the lighting solutions that the company had prior to when I joined. Uh, we had a good amount of theoretical technology, but nothing really uh, in terms of a feedback loop to uh, build products that the market really wanted. So what we've done is taken advantage of the supply chain. We've brought all of our products back to the United States. We only bring our LEDs and our boards in from overseas. Uh, we effectively uh, customize uh, our lighting solutions. We are the lowest cost, highest quality lighting solution on the market. Uh, we can manufacture within a matter of a couple of weeks for any growing facility, for any plant that is grown indoors. Uh, on the software side, we acquired a small app for the home grow marketplace called WeGrow. Um, it's in the, uh, uh, the iPhone in the Apple Store. Uh, it essentially walks home growers through how to uh, grow the crops that they're growing at home. Uh, and in first quarter of 2019, we will launch GrowNet, which is our automation control systems that uh, control all of the environment within an indoor grow facility. Uh, in terms of distribution, uh, we've taken advantage of the ecosystem within the cannabis marketplace. There is not a huge supply chain. For those of you who were here a couple of presentations ago, Grow Generation is a primary partner of ours. Uh, we distribute all of our products through Grow Generation. Uh, they have the highest degree of touch points with the commercial growers throughout the United States and Canada. The supply chain sort of ends at a hydroponic retailer. Um, there's not a lot of availability of product for growers to go into Home Depot or Menards. Uh, and so those hydroponic retailers are really an extension of our sales force. We've put commercial sales reps within those uh, facilities, have trained them, and they create a tremendous amount of deal flow for us that we don't have to pay for. Um, we've got a sales pipeline of about $15 million at this point uh, through uh, the first quarter of 2019. We launched our product in the fourth quarter of 2018, so we're really only operating on about a three or four month pipeline roll. Uh, we've got a robust pipeline of M&A uh, targets. We're in discussions with two different uh, companies to acquire right now. Um, and we've got a pipeline through uh, Merida and Pegasus and Panther of about 10 or 12 companies that we're looking to acquire. We'll focus on acquiring companies with top line revenue or uh, companies that have unique technology but have not been able to capitalize on distribution and market share. Um, just talked a little bit about the four partners and who they are and what they've done within the industry. Um, our team, myself, uh, I have been an early stage tech uh, venture capitalist for 30 years. The last five years I stepped into cannabis. I've run two companies in the cannabis industry, one of which uh, MJIC is uh, going to IPO in March, um, and uh, the other one was acquired by MJIC. Butch has been a VP of operations for 10 years with uh, Lighting Science, so he brings a tremendous amount of experience. Randy Shipley was my president at MJIC, so he comes into uh, the company with uh, an operating history. And uh, Dr. Emil Ragkoff is a PhD chemist with about 30 patents to his name uh, and has uh, been our agronomist on staff since I took over 18 months ago. Uh, Fred Maxick is the founder of Lighting Science, has about 400 patents to his name, is one of the foremost experts in LED technology that includes not just lighting but sensing and sterilization through the use of LED technology, all of which is really um, particularly important for indoor horticulture facilities. Uh, offering summary, which I'll skip. And just a little bit about the different funds. Panthers uh, invested companies, um, six companies now as we've invested in VividGrow. Uh, Pegasus, who has a significant portfolio of sustainability companies. And Merida, who has a, a significant portfolio, probably the most significant, maybe second to Poseidon, in the cannabis industry. Um, 
Our board of directors, Mitch Brukowitz, who's with Merida, myself, uh, Joel Haney from Pegasus, uh, Kim Lee, who's the Lighting Science Group uh, president, and Abe Morris, who's the chairman of the company. Uh, several of those people have had multi-billion dollar exits in multiple companies outside of the cannabis space. Uh, and that's it. Everybody can go to the bar unless you have any questions. Yeah. Um, well, one of the things that I mentioned is the partnership that we have with a lot of the hydroponic retailers. So we have a, a direct presence. We do a lot of trade shows. That's probably our biggest deal flow. But relationships with the hydroponic stores and putting commercial salespeople into those physical locations because they're the ones that are talking to these growers on a daily basis probably makes up 25, 30 percent of our deal flow right now. We expect that to double in 2019. I think that's where we'll see the lion's share of our lead generation and our deal flow. All right, see you at the bar. That's it. <laughs>